Hi, this is Yabagai, and welcome to a Katane module tutorial on the subject of Tower of Hanoi by the Third Man. All available experts, please report to room A9. The module itself is based on an 1883 puzzle by a French mathematician, Monsieur Edouard Luca. A century and a half later, this module requires you to use Katane edgework in order to determine which towers each disc belong to. The rules for the module are the same as in the classic puzzle. Only one disc can be moved at a time. Each move consists of taking the upper disc from one of the stacks and placing it on top of another stack or on an empty rod. No larger disc can be placed on the top of a smaller disc. Doing so will result in this very shrill buzzer and a strike. To move a disc, click on the base of the rod you're moving from, notice the arrow flips, followed by the base of the rod you're moving to. I love how the selectable flips uh, when you click it, that's really cool. And now let's see what the manual asks for. We need to take down the entire edge work in order to solve this module first of all. We have no batteries at all. Lit IND. Oops. Unlit Bob. Unlit Car. Unlit FR Kilo. I believe I saw a parallel plate. And a number. Romeo Papa 9. Kilo Quebec 5. Now let's see what the manual asks for. Take note of the following set of numbers. Each digit in the serial number, that's 9 and 5. Number of batteries, 0. Number of indicators, 4. Number of ports, 1. If any of the previous is not between 1 and 6, ignore it. So we ignore 0 and ignore the 9. But we have 5, 4, and 1. I'm just going to move the ignores around. In fact, let's get rid of them altogether. You will find that these numbers play no further part in the module once you've ignored them. Emergency cleared. All personnel, please return to your stations. Then, number each disc in alternating size, starting with the smallest being 1 and the largest being 6. So let's zoom in on this module a second. Smallest is 1, largest is 6, ascending in order of size. For each disc, if the number disc's number is in the above set, in the set that we mentioned, uh, then the disc must be in the rightmost rod for the module to solve, else in the center rod. So these three numbers that we just came up with need to be in the right-hand rod. That's 1, 4, and 5. The remaining discs, 2, 3, and 6, need to be in the center rod. Alternating this module is a matter of um, alternation. Here's the axiom for Tower of Hanoi. To move piece N from one tower to another, build progressively larger towers from one to N on the other two alternating poles. Alternate in such a way that the largest piece you want to move ends up on the correct pole. We need to consider these pieces from largest to smallest because we want piece 6 to land in the middle, right here. So. Let's change colors here to show my point. In order to get piece six, oh, that's not a very good color at all, excuse me. Let's pick black, that's better. To get piece six in the middle, we need to make a tower of five here and a tower of four here. Here's that alternation in, uh, in action. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Get the cursor out, and we start by making a tower of one, which is trivial. There we go. Then we make the tower of two. Then we make the tower of three. Now, in order to make this tower of three, we need to make, uh, well, first of all, this now needs that piece number two needs to be on the right-hand uh, side. So we effectively now need to make a tower of two on the right-hand side, which involves um, a new series of alternation. We need to uh, make piece number one on the left-hand side and piece number two on the right-hand side. This is a starting uh, tower, so we don't consider that in the alternation. But we put piece one here, piece two here, and piece one here, and that is that taken care of. We now have our tower of three. In order to get a tower of four, 
we'll put four here. And then we need to get a tower of three atop it. I won't show the yellow ink again. What I'll just do is I'll indicate that we need to have three here, which is two here, which is one here. And that way we get that tower of three atop it. Put the tower of one here, put the tower of two here, put the tower of three here. There's your tower of four. For the tower of five, that's that started now. Now we need to get the four piece over here. Oops. We need to get the four piece over here, which means we need to get from this tower, four, three, two, one. Get the one here, get the two here, put the one on top, gets it out of the way of the three. Put the one down, and there's your tower of three formed over here, and then tower four. To move three across, we need to make two here. And to get two here, we need to put one here. There's a tower of two. Three, two, and one. And there is piece six, and that is two objectives complete, in fact. We have now piece six. Get that little check mark. Let's make a nice green color. Six is done. So is five, and so is four, in fact. It just remains that we need to get pieces three and two on the center. Oops. Um, so to get a tower of three here from this tower, we need to go three, two, one. So we put one here, two, Pick the power two, and there's three. And then from there, we have three and six done. And pieces one and two have a clear path to their final destination. And that is the module solved. Let's play again, and I will bin these annotations. And let's see if we can uh, apply what we have done here. All available there experts, please report to room A9. Let's take down the edge work. Two batteries and two holders. Lit car, lit sig, and a plate with a DVI, PS2, and an RJ. Numbers 8, X-Ray 2, Echo Charlie 0. Take down each digits, that means we have 0 to 8. Number of batteries 2, number of indicators 2, and number of ports 3. Exclude all digits that are not 1 through 6. And we end up with the digits 2 and 3, which need to therefore go on the center. Two and three need to go here. One, four, five, six, all need to go in the center. So, first objective needs to be put the six on here. That means we need to put a six in the middle. We need to go five, four, three, two, one. So make a tower of one on the right hand side, then the tower of two in the middle, like so. Tower of three here. So we put the three here. Now to get the two across, we need to alternate one, two, and then put the one on top. Make the tower of four working our way up from one to N, one to six. So we put the tower of four here. To get a tower of three here, we need to go three, two, one. That's one. Then make the tower of two, then the tower of three. Then put the tower of two on top of the three in order to make the tower of four. To get to five over there, put the five on the right-hand side. Now we need a tower of four on top here, which means we go four, three, two, one. One, two, there's the tower of three coming into place. Tower of four, one, two, three, and put the tower of two on top. And there's piece six in the correct position. Now to get piece five in the middle here, just indicate that's our next objective. Oops, was it very good? Five, you can see that, it's a circled five, clearly. To put piece 5 here, we need to alternate. 4, 3, 2, 1. Notice that I never count the starting round. Emergency where pieces are coming from. All personnel, please return to your stations. Ash, you're interrupting! <laughs> That's a classic. I'm never going to be actually mad. We never count the uh, tower we're in, uh, going from. We go 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So make a tower of 1 here, make a tower of 2 here, then make a tower of 3 here. And make the tower of 4 here. To get a tower of 3 atop the 1, we need to go 1, 2, 3. Or three, two, one, rather. There's the five atop there. That's successfully done. Now we want to move the four piece across, which means we make, make towers increasing size from one through four and alternating towers. So to make a tower four here, we need a tower three here, then a tower two here, then a tower of one here. So make a tower of one, two, three. There's the tower of four. And in fact, that puts piece four there. We do not need to move 3 and 2 because they're both in the correct position. 
So all that remains is we need to put piece one where it belongs. On the center tower. And that is the Tower of Hanoi. Once these annotations get out of the way. There it is, the module. If you have any questions or any constructive feedback on how this tutorial went, or any uh, uh, su edits to the module in case it was changed at any stage, uh, please uh, put it in the comments below. Let me know on Discord. And thank you very much for watching.